Yankees on Yes. Welcome to Opening Day continues now with one reporter talking to another. Here's Meredith Morakovitz with her friend, Susan Waldman. Yes is 20 years old this year, and as everyone knows, I'm the clubhouse reporter currently, but you were the first clubhouse reporter for Yes. There has only been a total of three of us over the 20 years, and I have to ask you, how different was it when you first started? Oh, boy. The 20 years, it was like a, a different world, an absolute different world. We were the only people. So I would walk in, and I'd be able to do whatever I wanted, and we had in the old stadium the greatest setup. There was a room to the side right next to the clubhouse that it had a big mural along the back wall and Fred Hickman who was the first uh, guy who was pre and post on on the network he was in Stanford and I would just bring people in and we would talk and it was great there was no ESPN two three four mm -hmm. five no CNN no anything else it was just us so when we'd get a, a guest they would all come in and sit there and it was so personal once um, Andy Pettit came in, he had just pitched a great game, and he had his little boys, and they're all grown men with their own kids now, and one was on one knee, and one was on another knee, and we were all talking for a while, and it was just great. And then there was the night that Jason Giambi was the star of the game, and all of a sudden, in the middle of the interview, we had to stop, because Mr. Steinbrenner thought that it would be bad to show his tattoos on his arm, because he didn't want children watching it, so a runner came in, and Jason oh okay okay <laughs> and he's putting on a t-shirt and we went back to it and I think my favorite one was when Roger Clemens got his his 300th the whole family was there and I said can we get a phone and have it set up and because his mom mama Bess who was one of the great women of all time mm -hmm. she couldn't travel she was very sick and we had a phone on the table and Roger came in with Deb and the kids who were all little boys and all of a sudden the phone rang and there was mama Bess and she was crying and Roger was crying and I was crying it was so personal and so great. Do you remember the first day when Yes came on the air, your first <laughs> interview? Because speaking to people that had been there from the beginning, they said they didn't know if this network was going to last a day, a week, a month, a year. It was really up in the air at first. Do you know who my first interview was? Who? It was Joe Torrey, and it's in the Hall of Fame. Wow. Because that picture of me and Joe Torrey with the Yes microphone, and it was the first one, when you walk into the women in baseball room in Cooperstown, there's this giant mural of all these women, and in the lower left-hand corner is Joe and me. Yes, so yes, I do. Remember, because and I still have that jacket. It's the blue leather jacket that I wear all the time. It's a great little jacket.